I put an interesting survey on the channel yesterday and I asked the question, do you like the way I'm currently doing things with the channel? A little bit of a mixture of videos, some walking around the streets having a chat, some sitting in my cab as I am now, some in the garage. Or do you just want me to get back in the garage full time? Well, most of you said that you don't mind a mixture of all of them, so... I will carry on doing that. I actually find being out of the garage and out and about quite therapeutic, I suppose. And I really find that it influences my trail of thought, my clarity of thought, because there's really something about the fresh air and the daylight and everything else, which influences the way you behave and the way you put things across. And I find I can be very much clearer. I never ever script anything. That's one thing I, w I want to point out. I literally just talk to you as I would if we were sitting in the same room or in this case the same cab. I find it works better that way and it's more natural. Well, four years, four years I've been doing this full time. I've been a believer for a long time that you can effectively do something on the internet, you know, affect change. Uh, influence in some way or in general may make some kind of living i i've always believed that to be true now this is my third or fourth attempt at youtube i suppose and this andy the gabby cabby is the one that's really taken off it's it's really flown i have another youtube channel called aviation andy uh, which serves a, a long-term love of aviation and aircraft one day i will try and start putting some more bits on that but what is it with this youtube where how, how do you get started where, what do you do well four years ago when uh, i i started on this channel very much i found myself in a position and of course we know what happened four years ago where everything stopped the business stopped, life stopped, we all stopped. We were told we couldn't go out and obviously there's a hell of a storm brewing with that now, isn't there, with investigations and bits and pieces like that. And I thought, well, I need to do something because I'm frustrated, I feel trapped, I feel hemmed in. And I decided to sit in the garage and start recording videos, telling people what I think. Looking at some of the earlier efforts, I wonder why I'm still here now, to be honest with you. But that's where it started. The whole thing with YouTube is you, you pick an idea and you run with it and see where it goes. It could be a niche subject like cooking or sports or, you know, photography or something like that. Or what I do, where I just discuss my opinion on an event that's happened in the world and really try and encourage you to discuss it and do the same it's uh you know that's where it's gone and uh that's where it'll always be i mean i always love discussing things so how do you start what well, what do you need well you don't need a great deal really you just need a way of putting across your opinion and pretty much all Cam, uh, all modern day phones now, all modern day mobile phones have a decent enough camera to get you started. I mean, I'm talking on a mobile phone camera right now. Mine's a Samsung Galaxy S23. As I've gone along, I've tried to just get the best camera in my phone that I can, but there, there's all sorts out there. And that's all you do. You just record and you talk uh, as I am now. Once you've done that, you get a video file on your phone. And in its most basic form, that will do. You know, just get it online. There's some very successful YouTubers out there that literally just talk no bells and whistles and get it online and spread their opinion. Uh, History Debunked is one that springs to my mind straight away. He just sits there and talks and gets it online. Look how many subscribers he's got. Now, you can get all singing, all dancing with it. You can put buttons on, you can put overlays, and uh, you, you can add videos and pictures and 
transitions and all that sort of thing, I use a thing on my phone called KineMaster, K-I-N-E, and then the word master afterwards. It's a very good piece of editing software. Then what happens is you grow. Uh, you need to start refining things. You, you need to start looking at try, trying to scale things up. Uh, you need to start looking at reaching more of a more of an audience when you realise, hang on, I might be onto something here. I mean, I got a boost fairly early on where a video I did was picked up by somebody and, uh, you know, I was recommended, I was given advice and I got, well, I think it was something like a thousand extra subscribers Where when I look back at that time period before I recorded this video. And, you know, it really helped to make me decide to keep going, keep doing it. And therefore, I did. And the trick with YouTube is just consistency. You've got, you've got to get a pattern. You, you've got to get what works, you know, whether it's one video a week, one video a day, four a day, and just stick to it so the people know or roughly expect when you're going to turn up. And then as you go along and you get a bit more confident in what you're saying you can start consider doing live streams. You know, actual live talking there and then in front of, well, I guess your audience. You can either just have a chat with them uh, or you can discuss a hot topic uh, of the day uh, or you can get people into interview and, you know, do live streams with each other. I, I've done a fair few in my time and I, I would like to do a lot more perhaps that's another poll uh, you know that we can have and try and decide which way you want to want those live streams to go now in the garage that's where I will do all the live streams unless I unless I do one walking and talking uh, I have a, a camera in there Logitech a, a 4k camera and I use a thing called StreamYard which uh, does all my live streams for me and uh, enables me to have a backup of them as well, which is pretty good, Pre pretty good, and I'm pleased with it. It's all web-based, there's no extra equipment really to buy, and again, you can get started very, very easily. And the good thing about StreamYard as well, everything is backed up. Now, YouTube is quite scalable. You can really go some with it, uh, like I have, or it can just be a can just be a hobby, but you do get a following, uh, you do get people that want to listen to you, can relate to you, like you, and you really need to look after them because they're the people that keep the channel going. You do get people who want to take you down for whatever reason. I, I've had it myself. I've had, you know, friends of mine that have had it. And the best thing to do with those people, and I've learned this through very bitter experience, is ignore them. Uh, just don't give them any time, don't give them any oxygen, because at the end of the day, if you do, they become emboldened and they get worse. Uh, and sometimes you can be guilty without even doing or saying anything at all, purely by association. And that is, uh, that's quite a that's quite an event as well uh, but generally my advice don't give them any time and eventually they will die down and it's just consistency you you just keep doing what you're doing the way you're doing it again and again and again and an important thing uh, you know people need to get to know a little piece of you never tell them everything because you do deserve and you you must have a private life yeah, you know, away from the camera. And uh, that is about it, really, just consistency. Always double-check everything before you put it out to make sure you are accurate. Try and keep your private life private. And just carry on. That's how it's done. Anyway, I just wanted to put that on film, really. Just a little bit of my own experience. Thank you again, everybody, for your support. I really appreciate it. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button and continue to keep doing what you're doing. And I'll do the same. Oh, by the way, here's another video. I look forward to talking to you again soon. Toodaloo.